Today is February 24th, and it's 10.05, and we are going to convene the Parks Castle Hills Parks and Projects Commission meeting and looking around to see if there's a quorum, and we have a quorum, and so we will start the meeting. Welcome, and let's go to item two, approval of minutes, January 13th, 2024 meeting. So if y'all can look over those, see if you... Have any comment on that? Comments? Looks good. I move we accept the minutes from that meeting. Okay. All in favor? Aye. All right. It's unanimous. Um, so those are approved. Uh, number three, discussion and possible action on identified projects in the commons. Shade structures and other amenities, including phase two of the commons project. Thank you, Bernard. Um, I was trying to load this up. It's a, you have a copy there. It's just a three page slide there. Right there. I was trying to get it there. I don't, for some reason, uh, this is running very slow today. Um, but uh, what I have here is um, the first page, it shows an example of um, a, uh, oh, Rob, you want to copy? Um, let's see. trying to get this up there. Um, the first one shows an example of, um, this is a park in New Braunfels. Um, our, our engineers did this park in New Braunfels. And so they gave us these examples of what a potential stage might look like for, um, what would be the, um, the band or whatever as a possibility. And then the other one up to the right corner is one they did uh, there as well. Now the one up in the right corner is associated with the costs on the third slide. So they just gave us exactly some of the costs that they did associated with what they did in New Braunfels. Um, and, and Mr. Joyce and I met with them and um, the, the next one shows is in just an example of about four different types of pavilion structures that we could do associated with the two main structures in the commons, or if we wanted to use one of these for just the area for the stage to have them all uniformity. Um, I, I do like the one in your Braunfels here. This is kind of more orientated to performance and those kind of things, which is what can be done. Um, and then again, the one over in the top right corner that's associated with the cost of, I think they have that down there is about 45,000 for just one of those. So that could actually be the two that are kind of in inside the commons itself. The other slide here are some ones they gave me at just some other parks and some simple metal roofs, um, you know, um, type even wood. So it's just a matter of what we sort of decide we want it to look like. Um, but ultimately, if you all said, well, we want the one in your Braunfels right here, top right corner, according to our engineers who did that work in your Braunfels, it'd be about 45,000 just for that alone. And then if you go to the last page there, um, it, it has, when Mr. Joyce and I sat down with them, they spec this out like if, if you're bidding with the city of San Antonio from basically start to finish. So we got a little bit of sticker shock. So I was able to kind of tweak this based on what we really need left. Um, when you start talking about picnic, shelter, shade structures, um, and then you talk about the stage, um, and then you talk about the community garden and pickleball court, that's sort of an idea of cost related to all those in that phase two. Now, would they be that cost? 
Maybe not because we could go through the buy board. We could use other contractors. There's areas that we could probably save money in comparison to what our engineers um, have given us here. Our en engineers are like conservative, so they put down higher numbers just in case. Um, but for instance, you know, I think they had estimated um, the concrete pad for the stage, you know, roughly, I think down there as like 15,000, but obviously um, it's going to be uh, significantly uh, cheaper through um, the contractor we use for some of the concrete work like we did with the trails. So that's just their estimate. Um, and like I said, they like to be very conservative uh, from that standpoint. But as you, oh, no, no, go ahead. Uh, engineers, our engineers, yeah. The engineers who developed, I put a copy there, again, the, the plan here. So in relevance, I was looking for, because Mr. Joyce and I talked to him about just a few more tweaks, um, which doesn't represent this. So I, was, I asked them where this was because they were supposed to ascend it, which kind of shift the stage directing that way. Uh, Mr. Joyce, I can't remember if there were some other tweaks we did, very minor that aren't represented on this one. But as soon as I get it, I'll send it out to the Parks and Projects Committee. Um, that should sort of be sort of a final um, concept plan, I guess you'd say. Correct, Mr. Joyce? Yeah, that's you're right, Ryan. And the details, as I recall, we were talking about um, had to do with the relationship of the, the stage to the ground. And uh, Councilwoman Danes, who's just walked in, had, had what I thought was a really good suggestion to alleviate the two foot high point going down to zero, which is to say have the um, stage itself just be a foot out of the ground so we don't need a rail or anything like that and then slope down from there to zero, from one to zero. So that's a that's kind of a tweak. Um, but yeah, as far as these structures go, um, I, I think Ryan is right when he says we need to coordinate because they do want a, a shade structure over the stage. Um, and so looking at all these photos, we just need to figure out which is the, which one would, you know, maybe be a comment, maybe will accommodate both functions. Uh, the one of the, um, the structure over the stage, I don't know, that strikes me, that doesn't have a copy of it. That, this one here strikes me as a little bit muscular. Mm -hmm. You know, it's- A little bit what? If we were going to span, oh yeah, <laughs> if we were going to span the uh, highway four ten or something, that might uh, <laughs> be appropriate. But uh, but anyway, uh, you know that I think that the idea that's a cantilever which supported on one end there. I think that's a really nice idea. As far as the uh, shade structures go, um, I think we need to be careful not to get the eave too high. Because those things are, you know, they're out in the direct sun, and as the afternoon wears on, and this, you know, the sun comes down. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we want it to be too high. So I kind of like the idea of the the hip roof one, which is the lower right hand corner. This, this fella here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Four post. Yeah. Because the because the, it keeps the eve low. Um, this is about these are some other examples. I so basically if Mr. Joyce, like Mr. Joyce mentioned that if you talk about the shade structure top right corner, if it wanted to be the brick and then the metal roof, like the one right there in your brown um, they were talking that would be uh, 40, 47,000 each. So. And then the one example I know we discussed was they did want Indoor Braunfels in there, and that's the solar panels on there as well. They didn't have a cost with that. The only thing they have, don't have down is the restroom here as a cost, but I think it was roughly about 150000 for the the one that's ready to go. They just drop it in the commons, um, so if I recall. so Let's do it. What do you all think? I like the wood, but I know it's going to be maintenance, like on the under part, like the shiplap or. Yeah, no, no yeah. So I, I like the metal one, the, the four post one that you're um, on the bottom right. Uh, it looks more 
less wood. To me, I would suggest we go with all three of the same, um, well, all three of the same type of shade structures, but the other two in the middle could be a little bit bigger than say the stage area, you know, just have some uniformity. Comments, comments. Is, is this something um, realistically able to be in, approved and installed by Fiesta? Uh, I think from, from that, since the idea is we're trying to get the um, stage, which would be, and if you look at the plan, I think it, the concrete pl um, the concrete stage or pad would kind of come out um, from the trail itself right there. Um, I, I have our engineers kind of working on a, a real quick sort of um, preliminary engineering to, because it takes a little, like uh, Mr. Joyce said, a little dirt work um little adjustment so we can get that done before I, I think that's we're exactly two months out so realistically if you look um what we just did we're placing that bridge right there that was done in two days so i'm not worried with with the concrete guy we used that you know can't get how, that how about done. the dirt work uh, ryan that that's i'm hoping to get something from them you know here in a, a week or so but that might require um Maybe the use of another contractor to do a little dirt work. I, I think you need somebody with experience to do that. Yeah. But I, I feel optimistic within two months that we can get just the actual concrete pad down and ready. Mm -hmm. um, I think post Fiesta, we just need to figure out what three shade structures will look like. And depending on what they look like size, do them all at the same time. And that's a, a, a cover for for the stage eventually, and then both the ones in the middle of the commons. We, we might as well, because probably cost-wise, it's probably over 50000 to do all three, even if the one for the stage is smaller. So we'll have to bid that out anyways. So my question then, when I'm looking at all of these, is are we looking at style, materials? Like, what is the difference? Because we know the stage one is going to be smaller and then we want these two to be the same and they're probably going to be bigger right so are we just looking so like at that top right that it's inverted is mm -hmm. there an advantage to that or disadvantage versus the four poster versus this other one six versus the other one in that other corner or something like this one to me, the one with the state, like that one looks really huge. Yeah. So, you know, I, you know, I guess I feel like I'm not comparing apples to apples and I'm not sure what I'm looking at. What do you like? Well, I think they all look good. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Oh, there it is right there. Well, I would say that we need we need to have something that's appropriate for its scale and location. The, the the shade structures are not big. They're not as big as this thing. This is huge. Big one. Yeah. yeah. This is like 20 by 50 or something, or 60 or more. Ours are just 20 by 20, plus or minus. It might be 25 around the perimeter of the eave. It might be 25 by 25. But 20 by 20 is what the, the ladies asked for. And so that's why I, I mean, this this style could work, and they could do that in a twenty by twenty. I'm just, you know, the thing I worry about is with the open ends, oh, that's going to let either. a lot of sun in. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's why I kind of lean toward the the hip roof, which you know brings the e down and keeps the sun out. Um, but this one, it's very nice though. I I like the the brick columns. It's it's a very classy design it kind of you know it, it would kind of tie into the building you know since our brick is kind of light mm -hmm. light tan brick and uh, it'd be nice to have a masonry piece out there it does add to the cost i don't know there would be forty five thousand at our scale maybe a little bit less but probably not a whole lot less but i do like that style uh perhaps there's a way to do that closing off that end or maybe they could even do a hip roof in that. You know, I, I I don't see why they couldn't do a hip roof in that stuff. Mm -hmm. So but definitely the brick. I mean, is not much nicer. I mean, you look yes. at that and you think, wow, this looks really. I agree with substantial. you. Substantial. Yeah, it looks substantial mm -hmm. and not just kind of thrown out there. 
yeah, you know, right, right, right. took planning. Right. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's really pretty. So what what I would suggest at this point, you have sort of four options, maybe five with this, and um, I could bring a few more from some other surrounding parks, but I think if uh, you know, uh, with I think by next month we probably need to decide which exact shade structure we're going with and then figure out from that point cost and timeline. And then um, my plan would to bring just that one item to council. So, yeah, well, thank you for bringing all these options. Got, got to be careful here. <laughs> I know that um, it sounds like, and you guys tell me if I'm reading this incorrectly, but it sounds like you all, you kind of like the idea of the stone column version. Mm -hmm. It seems to me like it needs to be a steel structure just for longevity and a metal roof, of course. And, uh, you know, in a, if you guys are in a, somehow either close off that gable end or do a hip roof, mm -hmm. one or the other, to keep the, so the sun is not so high, so the opening is not so high. I'd say you do the, the hip roof. Just my only concern about closing one end off is like just if you're going to lose any kind of draft. Like breeze, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, yeah, gonna, yeah, Is yeah. it going to get hot? Mm -hmm. You got one, right? In. But right. with the hip roof, I think gives you the shade mm -hmm. that you're talking about, and it expands mm -hmm. it out, and hopefully, still keeps that airflow, mm -hmm. you know, through the structure too. So, no, that's a good point, man. But as far as the costs that are back there, you know, th those are not; those are sort of, again, engineering costs, probable costs. But when I talk, some of the main things we want to look at too is for phase two when you look at. Just to give you an idea, sort of pickleball court, the you know orientation around the community garden. Uh, these are just many things that we could do over there. Um, I mean, for instance, they have uh, benches and you know water fountain, all that. Where we would be going through another vendor that we've already used for things in the commons, um, like the boardwalk itself. You know, trying to get that connected. They have that for about thirty thousand here. And then, of course, you see the pickleball court costs versus pad surfacing net. What should we be looking at realistically with those? So that that gives you all an idea of sort of where uh, moving forward, we'll have to carve out some dollars for phase two. If that's exactly what uh, we want based on the concept plan. Mm -hmm. And what do you all think about phase two? I'm excited. Mm -hmm. One thing I might point out is that in the phase two up there above uh, Public Works, <clears throat> we've asked the engineers to kind of redo that parking lot. So it's just a... Uh, a drive-in type style. In other words, you would just drive in right off the street, mm -hmm. just be off street parking. Um, but so it wouldn't take up so much land. So we'd have more room for uh, pickleball or gardens or whatever it is we decide we should have. Have you guys noticed that how this... Um, Commons is being used <laughs> since the playground went in. It's like it's like people rediscovered it, you know. Well, that might be another agenda item for future use. I mean, for for uses. So, at some point, y'all are probably gonna have to establish a policy that eventually goes to city council, because uh, we've gotten calls about utilizing it for events or birthdays, something like that. Mm -hmm. So, there's never been a policy in place, nor uh, the ability to put something on a calendar, because it's always been a place that anybody can just use. But once, like I mentioned last meeting, we start filling these with amenities, um, you know, it's it's going to be start utilizing. Um, I gave you all an example of where we dropped a playscape next to a pavilion, and then every weekend it was used for a birthday party. So then we actually had to establish a policy and then put a fee associated with it. So, um, that's something we're going to have to tackle down the road because we are getting calls right now. Um, I've gotten two or Jeanette has in public works two this week about utilizing the commons for an event. So 
we just tell people that they can use them right now as long as they don't conflict with any other scheduled events like you know fiesta or right right movies right. in the park whatever you know stuff like that um and just pick up after your event's done stuff like mm-hmm. that but there's probably some kind of policy or some kind of uh and i think not restrictive to members of the neighborhood you know like you walk over with your kids oh i you can't use the playground because somebody else is using it you know i think for now until we yeah. set policy yeah well i, I don't think there's I, I don't think there's a say policy that would say if you're renting the pavilion and your kids are having a birthday party and they're playing on the playground anybody that walks up can play on the playground mm-hmm. i mean there's no you know, I think it's a matter of like, we, we drop two shade structures right there and someone wants to have a birthday party. Yeah. That that's their birthday party event for two to four, but still other kids can play on the playground. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's not gonna, that's not gonna differ from that. It's just a matter of once we put a shade structure in there, we'll probably get calls to schedule birthday party or events moving forward. It's, but it's a no brainer. Do you have those policies already? I, I have one from another city I can mm-hmm. borrow. Nice. That's what we do. We borrow from other cities. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's called best practices. No, that's great, Ryan. Thanks. What I, what I was alluding to uh, when I made that comment was uh, uses that I never anticipated might happen there, which is to say touch football games mm-hmm. after school. So I just want to make sure that as we start filling this up with stuff, that we still have 40 or 50 yards of clear length yeah for for the youngster to to do that and i think we do based on the latest drawings i think we have probably 50 yards or so from the sidewalk between the two shade structures and the front sidewalk i think there's 150 feet or so in there so i think we'll be all right we might you know if if they're going to be playing touch football in there we might want to rethink about our uh, sculpture locations. <laughs> <laughs> Not that there's any Tom Brady's in the group, but. <laughs> it's already like a built-in inside. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you for someone who has the corner office um, after school, I can hear that the comments is more utilized. Let's put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With the playground. It's And it's great when there's a, it's a nice day. And I mean, there's, I yeah, hundred people out there. It's just yeah, it's, it's tremendous. So I, I guess at this point, um, you know, I could, y'all could think about the type of structure for right now. Um, I'll, I'll bring a couple more from some other cities nearby here, um, but we probably need to land on which one we're going to do for, you know, all three being the two in the middle and then the stage, and then packaging that uh, so I can bring that to city council at some point. And then um, I'll have an agenda item next month in March to talk about how we'll program the rest of our um, ARPA dollars. So, uh, so it looks like we like the, uh, the hip, what you, Jack, you, what'd you call it? The hip structure there. Yeah. The hip roof, hip structure. roof. What, do, what does that mean? I was going to say, what does that yeah, mean? So it's this one right here. So I guess it's force foresighted, I guess. The eave yeah. is the same height oh, okay. all around. Gotcha. Which okay. one? Okay. Basically, so you have the... four sections. To oh, okay. The... I see. Uh, I also wanted to ask, as far as scale oh, goes. Okay. Uh, I get it. Bigger... <laughs> yeah, it goes up and down. <laughs> okay. So you're talking. I think um, if I could see real quick, the proposed size we have for that is thirty-five by twenty-five. Is that, I think, what we have there? 35 uh, feet by 25 25 feet. 25 by 25, right? 25 by 25. Yeah. Yeah, the price they have here is 35 by 25, which was be, would be the um, 25. Oh, it is. Sorry. Yeah, you're correct, Mr. Joyce. 25 by 25. It's my eyes. Uh, 47,000. But that's, again, that one in the corner there. So. Mm-hmm. so if we like this one in the corner, then we would just figure out what, realistically that cost is um times two yeah and then i would say it's the materials as shown in this upper right with this stone columns and the steel structure 
the NEC metal roof, and then the style would be a hip roof. And and how big is this one in relation to the ones that we we have now? Um, you know what the size of, or the ones I, we want to build. The ones we want to build are the twenty five. The ones that are estimated in in the concept plan are twenty five by twenty five. And this one's what about that one's yeah that's even smaller. That's just a rendering from another part. Okay. If you look at it, it's probably fifteen by fifteen. If anything. Okay, I, I was just asking because stone columns might look kind of silly on a smaller structure, but. On a bigger one, it would make sense, in, in my opinion. But. So basically, we want the brick columns like this one, but we want the style and roof, correct? And, and, and Rob, that's a great question. I, I think the columns would probably be scaled down to match the proportion of the yeah. structure. It, they wouldn't be this big. Yeah, yeah. And the nice thing about the brick is it kind of reflects the rock that's like one inch below the ground. Yeah, <laughs> the, yeah. yeah. The area we live, so. Yeah. So basically, we want the brick columns, but we want the style, the 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 metal roof, as as in this picture. Right. Okay. And I just might take a moment to mention uh, and thank Councilwoman Danes for her thoughts and her offer to help with this stuff. Thank you, mm -hmm. thank you, Beth. Appreciate that very much. Um, so the only question I have. Uh, remaining going forward, Ryan, and with respect to the stage, uh, we talked about our engineers developing a specification for the dirt work underneath that stage mm -hmm. um, and doing a little section through the stage so that they can, so it's clear the relationship between the top of the stage and the ground and how much structure there needs to be within the foundation of that stage, if any. Okay, so what what work is done in compare in in line with what the the size of the roof should be or the the pavilion itself? I'm sorry, I'm, I I changed topics on you. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I started talking about the stage, and I if if I recall our conversation with the engineers, they had promised to get us a specification for the dirt work. Yes, because that that's a very specific way that has to be done. Um. And then a section through the stage itself to define the construction and the relationship to the earth, to the ground. And that way, if they want some rebars or something in there, they can. That's how they would tell us that. Okay. And uh, if you can get it done before Fiesta, that'd be great. But I want to make sure the cleanup is done also before. Yeah, I think Rob's exactly right. We don't want a construction site out there. Okay, Ryan. So, so one of the you know on on our critical path, the engineer coming up with that specification is is critical. If it takes them a month to do that, I don't think Rick can get this done in a month. Yeah. You know. Anyway. Okay. Let me work on that. Thank you. The bridge is really nice. The work they did out there is perfect. <laughs> I think that's what I've been directed by. Yeah. Our our best rendering and cost associated with that. So again, y'all would recommend to council. So mm -hmm. Please. Along that same timing thing, um, if you guys decide what you want and then we get the drawing for it, does it have to go back to you guys and then come to council because we're running out of meetings between now and get that? What's the timeline, Ryan? For the shade structures? No, just for the even the stage. You want the stage? Done? Oh, well, the state, we're two months away. I think if I can get this engineering all that depending on that for a few weeks i mean i think they could we meet in March on the... yeah but i i don't i think the the stage the concrete can be absorbed within the budget currently which wouldn't okay. and cost wouldn't even come to the okay. level probably for council consideration okay. what, what i'm referring to for council's consideration is the the actual shade structures that eventually be there 
that's good. That, yeah. that makes me feel better. I'm just worried that we're going to run out of official meetings and then get all the approvals done. And then... No, I think the stage can be absorbed in the current budget, which, you know, wouldn't require council approval. No, you already have. Yeah. <laughs> well, as as approved by the budget, let's put it that way. Um, but but as I mentioned, I will be bringing something next month. So with council, we'll discuss ARPA and future use and what needs to be carved out for what left. Um, so we'll have that discussion next month. Perfect. And do. Uh, harder numbers come with that too with the, the shade structure i guess once you have everything that yeah there, there shouldn't be a problem you know why i wouldn't have um essentially a, another rendering and cost i mean mm -hmm. that should be you know if you want 25 by 25 then we'll have a cost for two of those based on the feedback and then what would be the size of the pavilion structure for the stage um, which I assume is just going to be a little bit less mm -hmm. than 25 by 25. So you have all three of those costs, package those together. There will be over 50,000, but um, and we'll have to go out for bid probably. And then timeline, you know, um, if I had to throw a timeline in there, um, council approval, bid, construction shouldn't take that long of those pavilions, you know. I mean, there's no reason why... Um, shouldn't be up in you know midsummer i mean if all goes well right perfect just in time for the heat <laughs> so is there any more discussion on phase two and shade structures and stage oh, I, I think phase two will probably need to be discussed uh next month too okay and figure out what this this uh board's recommendation and priorities are of phase two so i can start carving the dollars out and associated those um so we make sure that um we could start on that as early as this fall start phase two well just getting that pad out there by the street is nice uh, on the phase two area yeah well, that was a no-brainer since we're already pouring concrete right there with the new street. Okay, let's move on to four. Discussion and possible action on priorities tasks related to the city's comprehensive plan. Mr. Joyce. Thank you, Bernard. Um, Ryan, if I trip up, let me know because you, you keep track of this better than I do. Yeah, I just passed out a copy of what I gave council earlier this month, which were just updates in red. I don't necessarily need to go through all these and highlight, but uh, we can touch on a few um, that would probably come in front of you all and then eventually council. So. so I would say that, you know, the items that are, are in progress, let's say, are um, item B and C, which uh, item B deals with the no parking zones, Item C, the reducing the speed limit. So those analyses are underway. Um, item D has to do with VIA. I'll hold on for a second here. Any update on VIA, Ryan, or is that... I'm sorry, that's item D. Which one? Item D, VIA. You said that if you have any other staff's going to be meeting with them. Yes, that actually, that involved um, what the, it, it's a, it's sort of a pass through tax that eventually will uh, come in front of city council about um, some dollars that they're able to obtain um, through sales tax to do programs. Oh. Um, we're, they're probably going to bring something in front of city council in a few months, uh, if not sooner about this. Okay. Um, and it's associated again with capturing a um a portion of of dollars through the legislation that now that they're able to um and for for furthering programs for via and transportation so okay but that that was it um you know we're working on 
Uh, I'm, I'm still working with them on Cass Hills about improving the station there. And then um, I reached out to city of San Antonio because we want to basically get sidewalks to connect from Cass Hill down to the shopping center. And then that way to antler and then I'll complete sidewalks totally on the side of the road. That's all COSA right away. So I've talked to, to everyone at public works and in, in city of San Antonio. So they're all on board with helping us. If we come up with a funding agreement with via to run sidewalks all the way down or the city of San Antonio through the council district. So now that I know who's responsible, um, we can start figuring out how either a funding agreement or we end up paying for sidewalks ourselves and just get COSA's approval. So I'd rather partner with VIA on a cost. So were you over there researching the curb as well or well I would assume it'd be curb all the way down with the sidewalk just like it, it to match all the way down Blanco. So yeah, that's that's part of the meeting we had with Via was this particular funding and then talking about what we're gonna do about that area. Sorry, Mr. Tris. Okay, thanks for that clarification. Item E has to do with the relationship with NEISD, and uh, Beth has very graciously offered to help with that. She has a great relationship. She substitutes over there, so she knows those people and has promised to connect with them and talk about potential artists in residence program. Awesome. And uh, I connected her to the uh, art committee of the community organization so that uh, between the two of them, we can hopefully develop an artist in schools program. And there's a whole bunch of details that she understands that I don't. But anyway, that that item is in progress. Um, item F, I don't think we have anything going on at this time. That might be an opportunity for for others, but we'll just let that, unless anybody has any objection, we'll just let that sit for a little while. Item G is uh, referring to the zoning commission. There were some thoughts in the in the plan, as you all may recall, of different items that Ryan will be referring to uh, to the zoning commission. I'm sure shortly. Um, the free energy audit that's kind of a no-brainer. They'll get that done. Irrigation assessment, same thing. Um, then there were a whole series of uh, recommendations with respect to sustainability and low water and saving energy and so forth, and those those have not been acted on yet. I hope they will be soon, items J, K, and L. Um, the Dark Sky Initiative, item M, uh, they're looking at the, talking to the city attorney to make sure that's something we can do. Um, then jumping down to item P, the drainage at North Manton and Lock Hill, uh, that is under, that project is underway the design is underway anyway and they are going to look at the possibility of uh, running a, a little trail along that pathway there along that drainage way so we hope to hear from them very soon any idea when we're going to hear from them ryan it's been a few weeks since we talked to those guys yes they sent me an updated cost okay. estimate this week oh this week so i'm we'll we'll put something together next week okay so it's um well we'll talk about it they've come up yeah. with some different numbers than what was originally done but okay some more sticker shock we'll have we'll have a meeting next week okay very well thanks uh, the idea of the uh arbor day certification for tree city that sort of thing that's that stuff is in progress um And then moving to item two, priorities underway. The commons, well, y'all are intimately familiar with what's going on in the commons. Um, and item B is a reference to that drainage channel that I mentioned a moment ago, which is uh, in progress. And uh, item three, priorities with urgency, is item A is the, uh, the recent issues on Jackson Keller with respect to a shooting. Fortunately, it was, wasn't, didn't, but didn't involve injury. But anyway, we, we really are anxious to have a, a little group 
developed some ideas, headed up, I would hope, by Chief Zuniga and those in the community who uh, who can help with security expertise. So is there anything to report on that, Ryan, that I'm not aware of? Uh, nothing yet, so just... Okay. And then uh, item B under that is... Uh, looking into Jackson Keller on a much larger scale, thinking of it as an urban planning project. Or, well, actually, urban renewal is the term that the plan uses. And so uh, staff's looking into the feasibility of a consultant to help us with that. That would be a pretty big deal, I think, in terms of fees and stuff. It's going to be, it would be a very specific, specialized group. And, uh, it, you know, it's it, it would cost some money. So anyway, we'll, we'll, We'll keep working on that one, but uh, cautiously. Well, the goal would be to see if San Antonio will participate since the entire yeah. right away is all Jackson Keller. Mm -hmm. Right. Or, yeah, is all COSA. Sorry. Right. So Plus any ISD. Jackson Keller. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the strategic priorities, the economic development, as you know, that is well underway. Um, high, attracting high-end retailers, item B. That's something that's, you know, on the agenda for the economic development group. And uh, Ryan had a retail study done, and we're hoping that that gentleman will be able to come in very soon and present it to us. We have the study, but it's it's like all numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Make any sense out of it. So anyway, hopefully uh, Mr. Farmer will be able to join us very soon and make a presentation. To economic development, that is, y'all would certainly be welcome to participate if you like. Um, and then item D under strategic priorities is the idea of parking. I think I mentioned last time that uh, Mr. Russ, who runs Clementine, doesn't serve lunch because he doesn't have enough parking. And so we thought maybe it would be good to have an analysis by uh, some experts on parking. And believe it or not, there are such things. And um, so just to, to, to kind of see, have an evaluation if we have enough parking, and if not, what we might do. And uh, item F, oh, the grant writer thing. Yeah, that's, the, that's the, uh, the thing that's a little bit, I know Ryan and Louie have been trying very hard to get a hold of these grant writers. This is one of the great things about hiring this half engineering but they're they seem to be having a hard time in helping well, us with the grant writing what's, we, what's... we did get connected with them it's just a matter of what they can help us write grants with i mean i think for the most part they can help us across the board from a as a municipality it's just which grant um if there's a grant that we find they can help us with they can't help us find grants um i don't know if it's finding but they're help they can help us to write grants, but let me find, I, I, cause that was, I thought that was kind of the key is finding the money. Yeah. Or at least the opportunity for money. Okay. Okay. Priority two then is branding and that, uh, we have a proposal from a group to do a full branding, comprehensive branding plan for us. So that's under analysis now. Um, and then the green space, priority three, is, uh, I don't know that that's underway yet. We, we know what has to be done, but I don't know that we've actually asked the engineers to help us, Ryan. Am I right? Yeah, I don't, I don't mm -hmm. they're, they're focused on the Crimea East Castle Lane mm -hmm. project through to, to West Avenue. I don't think we're, we're holding up, distracting them from getting that done. Mm -hmm. So they're working on that. But anyway, this is, it's on the radar. So that's the story, you guys. Uh, any any questions or anything? I think we're moving along. I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's lots happening. And oh, the last thing under the comprehensive plan, I had promised to do a, an amendment, because we kind of, there's one piece that we really didn't bring across very well in here, and that's the idea of the city center. 
I don't know if you all remember from our presentation two years ago, but the uh, the architects had come up with, you know, the the idea of the city center with this little sketch, with the commons in the center. Sorry, Matt. No, it's okay. The commons in the center, perhaps a new building here, and then of course the development of all of this area up to the north. Um, it was a comprehensive thought, and it, it was very well received. But we didn't; it didn't come out. Mm -hmm. Just need just need to write a couple of paragraphs on this with a couple of photos, and as Vic suggested, uh, put our most recent drawing of the commons in there for mm -hmm. writing purposes. Mm -hmm. So that's I, I hadn't done that yet, but anyway, we'll get there. That'll work. Yep. Maybe next meeting we can do that. If we get out of here a decent hour, I brought my laptop. I kind of want to just sit down and do it now. Okay. But because if I take it home, it's going <laughs> to. <laughs> so, do you need any uh, administrative thing to amend it, the plan? That'll be this plan. Yeah, okay. Or not. I think what I'll do, and let's hope I can do it by next month, is bring it to you all and explain what what is going on, explain the impact to the plan. Table of content. It would have to be addressed in the table of contents, and it would be inserted in one of the chapters. I think chapter mm -hmm. six. And then we may have to discuss as a group the potential impact to priorities. So, all right. So, comments. What I miss? No. no. <laughs> we elected you mayor. <laughs> I pass. <laughs> <laughs> that means i have to take a pay cut yeah. anyway that's all i have on item four bernard great uh, anybody have any um comments on item four on the comprehensive plan all right well let's move on to five discuss and announce the date and time of our next meeting March. Is March a good time? Right. Ditto. Um, In the middle of spring break. Yeah, <laughs> it's a 12. It's a 12. Yeah. So, um, but. <laughs> <laughs> 20, 23rd um would be sounds good to me even though there's five saturdays in march yeah. i'm only yeah. <laughs> 23rd, 23rd and 30th being the other two <laughs> so uh i'm showing on my calendar an easter egg hunt community organization I don't know how it got on my calendar, but uh, at eleven. Up as the Easter Bunny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For which day? Yeah, I love costumes. Yeah. Uh, the March twenty third. That'll be the weekend of Palm Sunday, so that might be true. I don't necessarily. I don't have that on my calendar yet, but yeah, that's Palm Sunday. Somehow it appeared here. There's also a uh, a. Uh, I was just invited to the a new business called Body Mind Systems. It's a martial arts place is having an open house the 23rd at 11 o'clock and asked us, we were, I'm actually one of their students now, and they've, they've asked us to get the word out. Yes, we have that on the city calendar uh, for the 23rd. We have Easter egg hunts at 11 a.m. Uh, I don't know. I, I, we haven't updated. That sounds that. right. Do that. <laughs> we, we we well we 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 put all all the events for the whole year on the city calendar okay on the city website so right. based on what judy provided yeah so Thanks, i'm going with i'm going with judy on that yeah. <laughs> so, um so that that's at 11 on the 23rd so if we still want to have a meeting it could wrap up and you know unless you were uh i might be working you might be working yes. in, in a suit. Yes. Again. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if we if if we need to have a meeting and we can make it a expedited. 
if, if worst case we can do the 30th of march and that way for sure we'd have numbers and all that you know what i mean all right that's right <laughs> march is a tough month yeah is it possible to start the meeting earlier on the 23rd that's what i was saying 9 30. yeah Tell us we can, going. yeah, we can do whatever we want. I mean, get it. They still have at least our kind of allotted. Right, 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 right. My only concern is I'd like to get it. So I'd like to see those plans for the sage, shade structures so that mm -hmm. we can recommend them and then right. get them on the council agenda. Right, 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 right. I would, I would, I would suggest 9 30 on March 23rd. That yeah, is... even, well, I'd say even worst case, well, I was going to say worst case, if you didn't have a meeting in March and you just had one on April 6th. That's before the April 9th council meeting, but um, that's a little too late for any decision to be made for an agenda for council. So, yeah. 23rd. March 23rd at 9.30. Okay. Good. All right. Um, a motion to adjourn? I second. All right, we are adjourned. Thank y'all for coming and participating. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>